You've done a very exciting new piece of research about predicting uncomplicated normal pregnancies. For some years we focused on the adverse outcomes in pregnancy, particularly preeclampsia, preterm birth and small babies. But we've chosen to take a different approach and to look at which factors are associated with subsequent normal outcome. The factors that turned out to be particularly important was having a normal body mass index, reducing your blood pressure to normal levels, increasing the fruit intake before pregnancy, stopping drugs of misuse, including binge alcohol drinking, particularly around the time of conception, and being employed. We think that this research particularly emphasises the importance of a healthy diet before and during pregnancy. Interestingly, our research found that a increased fruit intake before pregnancy, around three to four pieces of fruit a day, was associated with a subsequent normal pregnancy outcome. And this ties in with other research that has looked at healthy diets before and during pregnancy. We would like to look at how these research findings translate into real interventions for pregnant women so that we can improve the outcomes for pregnancy. We know that if we reduce the blood pressure by even a small amount in women who book, then that is likely to have a relatively substantial knock-on effect for normal healthy pregnancy. So if you take any of these factors and look at an improvement, such as a reduction in the body mass index or a reduction in blood pressure, you will see a change in the proportion of women who have a normal uncomplicated pregnancy by a few percent. Those few percent add up, they make a difference to the pregnant women. So I think we need more research that has an emphasis on normal pregnancy as an outcome. That's what the women tell us that they want and that's where interest, particularly from the public health and the policy point of view, is very much growing in that area.